Hey there YouTube, France Hopper here. It's Monday the 18th of August and today we have an unboxing. At long last, my glorious Almond Plus has arrived from Securify. This is the box that it comes in. Nice, simple, plain brown box with Securify tape. This is the already wadded up TNT bag that it came in. And as you can see, this is a US US in black. So let's open the box by cutting the tape, which I have to figure out how the box is actually sealed. So this may take a moment. Usually I would cheat and, you know, pre-cut the tape, but since the tape is really the only thing to look at on the box right now, I decided I'll actually let you get to see my glorious attempts at opening a box instead. Ah, well, that's one end, and I've already managed to dink the box there. But we'll just ignore that. There we go. Throw the scissors off to the side. Oh. Here is inside the box, which of course has a box. So, dear backer, we'd like to start off by thanking you for backing the Allen Plus and Kickstarter and your patience with us getting the Allen Plus ready. This looks like it's in frame, so if you care about the rest of that, you can now pause to read that. And... Here is Quick Start Guide for Sensors. I didn't actually order any of these, but if you want to read it, there you go. And there you go. That's that. Yippee. Now, that's the remainder of the box that it shipped in, which we will now thus throw over there. So here is the front of the box. It's nice and yellow. There are the specs. So you've got your home automation set up and all this glorious, beautiful shenanigans and stuff. So, more questions, there you go. You can read those if you want. I don't think the iOS app is ready yet. So that's that. Here is the top of the box. And we'll cover that up. There's the bottom of the box. Now, let's open the shrink wrapping. Like so. So given that there's an arrow here, which okay, just simply spins around, I'm not sure why there's an arrow there actually. So we're just going to give it a light shake to lift up. There we go. Set that aside. There's what it looks like. And there is the actual Almond Plus. So this is what it looks like on the front. This is a touch screen. There is the uh, top. Here is the bottom. Here is like the sides and stuff. You can see there's tons and tons of um, vents for cooling. So here we've got our two USB ports, one of which... Oh, no, both of which are actually 3.0. You've got one, two, three, four gigabit ports, and then this, I believe, is the internet jack, so another gigabit port there. Here's your uh, power port over there. Actually, I do have a light on me, so if I can get the... There we go. So, there you have it. There are the ports. Securify there uh, for wall mounting. So that's it for the router. If we pull that little plug out. This comes with a... Ooh, that's actually very nice. So this has a flat um, Ethernet cord included, which I can't tell if, cat, if it's uh, Cat6 at the moment. I'm going to hope so. Um, some little rubber feet things. This looks like the various brackets. So this is just the um, stand, I believe, if you don't want to actually wall mount it. And then this, I believe, is the actual wall mount. Here is the power brick, which, as you can see, is um, fairly meaty. And lastly, we have the quick start guide. So, 
here's everything that it came with. So the, oh, there's actually a stylus. Yes, there is. That is um, very tiny, which I don't even think the camera will focus on. But uh, there is your um, stylus, which looks like it's basically your typical toothpick stylus, but it's a stylus. It's actually beautifully flush with the side. So back to the quick start guide. Here's everything that um, it should have come with. So the process of setting it up and uh, all of that looks like it's fairly easy. Pairing um, sensors, controlling, various other stuff to know, troubleshooting as well. Notes and declaration of conformity, so you know, legal yada yada and support. So, I'm gonna plug this in, set it up, and uh, see how it goes. Be right back. Okay, so now that I have successfully rearranged my entire desk, including the electrical work and networking, we're now ready to plug it in. So, we're going to slowly also move the cord down the desk a little bit more. I probably should have done in the first damn place. Yeah, we're just gonna get back there and kind of shove it and deal with it later. Well, welcome to Networking 101. So, now that we have the power dongle, we're going to attempt to fit that into the doobly-doo. It sounded like it clicked. So, now we're going to uh, move all of that with its nice trail of dust. And uh, hopefully that is in fact in. Yes, it is. Glorious. This is where we slowly inch the tripod forward. And uh, yeah, now it's um starting up slowly. Very, very slowly. And I do believe there will be a software update. Here we go. Okay, so. A wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Right. So, I may have to take the camera out to do all of this shenanigans, but whatever. We're going to use the stylus, because I don't like having a mountain of fingerprints. So, this wizard will help you connect your almond to the internets. And set up remote control for element of the connected sensors. Sure, let's start the wizard. Step one, the stylus is located at the top of your router. Lies, it is located in my hand, which is there. And um, so you can't really see with the control. Oh, actually, no, you can see it, but you can see this better on the camera than I can actually see it standing up. That's a picture of where it is located. So, next, internet connected, perfect. Now, Almond account. Open a web browser and go to all of this stuff and select the sign up option. Uh, do I actually have to do that? Maybe so. We're going to skip that for now because my computer is still starting back up because I had to turn the power off to actually plug this in. Uh, yeah. So we're going to skip ahead and we're going to skip ahead a little further. Click on the blue doobly-doo to link your doobly-doo. And we're going to do that later. Linking failed. The almond is offline. Well, bollocks. All right, well, it's on the internet, but could not link your account. Please try again later using the account app. Okay, done. So, yep, yeah, there you have it. That is... Um, the menu screen, which looks like it's basically a Windows 8, you know, interface. Internet settings, wizard, Wi-Fi, software update, which I'm pretty sure there is one of. Add sensor, connect sensors, status, and more. So status, internet is connected, nothing is done and all that stuff. The IP address I'm going to have to change at some point. Uh, there's the MAC addresses, there's the network. None of which is currently configured. Web admin. Oh, that's a great password by default. 
And wireless settings, that's, I guess, default. Apparently you can have both the 2.5 and 5 be different SSIDs. You can have a guest network on one of the two. And advanced is apparently not enabled at the moment. And more, system log, account, shutdown, blank screen, diagnostics. Uh, so let's see what we can add with sensors. Press the join includer pairing button on your sensor. Refer to the manual and stuff. I don't think the lights will actually work quite yet with that. So, ah, cancel. So, let's see if we can actually do a software update. Ah. Okay, apparently it's up to date. So the new software actually isn't out yet. So, there you go, that's um, unboxing the Yalman Plus and an overview of what it looks like setting it up. Now I have to finish actually configuring it, but yeah, that was pretty easy and um, looking forward to it. That's it.